What's up guys, Root of the Null here, and we're looking at some more Python code. Uh, we've been looking at lists, strings, and tuples recently, and one of the really interesting tactics or techniques that we've been looking at is, uh, is called indexing. And now, indexing is when you use a numbered element in like a list or a string to be able to get the character or the item that is at that position inside the object, whether it be a list or a string or, or a tuple. So now, one of the other really fascinating things you can do with this is something called slicing. Now, slicing allows you to get multiple pieces of information by using a range when you index something. So uh, let's get idle started, and I'll show you what I mean. I'm going to be working at the interactive shell today. Uh, this isn't really an example that I have a good idea for for building a new script, so uh, please bear with me, and uh, we'll try and see what we can do here. Let's get started with the string, first of all. Let's do... Um, this is a bad word, because <laughs> I wanted to do something different from saying this is a string. So now we've got a string, okay? And we can index this, or retrieve values from it, from any specific character. Let's let's say we want uh, T-H-I-S, that's going to be 4, 5, and 6. Let's say we want to get that sixth character, that I. Remember that white space is considered a character, so spaces, tab keys, they're all a character, they're all part of the index. So if we do 6, we should get i. Oh, I counted wrong because, you know what? That's a, this is a good thing to mention. We have, we have to start at 0 because we're, we're treating this like a computer. So 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6 is going to be s. i is number 5 because we're counting from that 0 to whatever we want bit. We have to subtract 1 from what we would usually expect. So string 5 is going to get us i. So now what if we did uh, string 5 and we'll, we'll use some slicing here. Slicing is represented inside the index box that we've got going on here and you use a colon and then you use a range or how far you want it to go to. So you can go to, let's say, let's say 8. So we can get is, is and that space afterwards. So we've got, this is 5, this is 6, and this is 7. So 8 is, 8 is A. That That's strange, isn't it? When you think about it, it really isn't, though, because we're using that whole, like, less than idea, we want to have these things that are in the range here. We have these three characters. 8 minus 5 is 8. I mean, 8 minus 5 is 3. Damn, I'm retarded. <laughs> 8 minus 5 is 3, so we're going to give you return 3 characters. We have I, S, and that space. So, now, we could return this with any sort of thing, though. We could have string, uh, let's say, 0 and uh, maybe 10? I don't know. That's a good idea. This is A, and then we have that last bit cut off. What if we did... We can run functions inside our index, too. We can go, like, 0 to the length of the of string. This is kind of counterintuitive, though, because we're getting the entire string here. This is a bad word. But it returns the whole thing nonetheless. That's another thing to mention, too. If we don't, if we don't supply a beginning or an ending piece of the range, if we just apply that semicolon, it'll return the whole string. And now when you think of that philosophy, if you don't supply things like a beginning or an ending number, you could go from, let's say... Um, how about how about we use five? We can get is into the end of the string because we're not going to supply an ending number. So it'll start from character five and continue onward. Is a bad word. We've cut out this is. I mean, I'm, this we've cut out the word this in the space. Now this can work both ways too. We can do let's say um, we can go from ten. We can go from the beginning up until ten. So this is a and the, including the space. Now what if we uh, now what if we had a little bit more of an adventure with this though? We can do string and let's get a colon here so we get the entire string. That's what we want. But if we add another colon, we can supply a step, or just like we did in that range function, we can supply how much we want to increment by each time we're going to a different term. So let's increment by two. Oh, I screwed up my syntax there. My apologies. So if let's go from the beginning to the end, except we'll increment by two. So tsabdwer. Um, duh. I would have guessed that, but you guys didn't give me a chance. <laughs> but yeah, see, it's going to skip all those all those words that it it that are 
separated by that too. So this H, not going to see it. This S, not going to see it. This I, not going to see it. This space, not going to see it. This other space, not going to see it. Because we're stepping by two, going from beginning to end. So when we actually look at this though, we, do, we are going from... What is the length of the string, by the way? Let's find out. We'll use our len function. 19. So if we do string index from 0 to 19 to 2, you get to Sabdur. <laughs> Except you don't have to be using the entire string, remember. You can do from 5 to 8, and you can use those two. Just like we did up here, except we're using that step of two. So now let's look at this in a different way, because remember, we were able to index things with negative numbers. We could do reverse searching, remember? If we do string negative, let's say, negative one to the end, it'll go that period. Negative one is going to be, let's see, remember that last bit here, it's going to go from that period to the end, obviously. So if we do string, let's say, um, negative one to, from the beginning to negative one, we get the entire thing except that period, because we're starting the cursor, if, if you think of it as like a an, an imaginary cursor, we're right here, before the period, and we're getting everything from, be from the beginning. Okay, so that's an interesting way to think about it. What if we tried it with a negative step? Would that work? I'll be honest, I have not tried this. Let's see what we can do here. Let's see if we do, um, let's get negative 2. So I'm thinking that'll start, let's go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Let's try negative 5, I'm thinking. So we can get that word, and let's do negative 15. Oh, what am I doing here? Oh, that's right, I think. I don't know. I don't know. I'm getting nervous. I don't I don't know what to say anymore. <laughs> we start from negative 5. We're going negative 5 to the end of string. Okay, so we need a bigger number here. Because we have that negative number, it's going to go from there to anywhere else. So if we start from... We have to have a bigger number here. Let's start from negative 15, and then that negative 5, we're going to go, is a bad... And what if we tried with a negative step? Would it yell at us? No, it doesn't do anything because it can't. Interesting. Very interesting. If you just supplied one as a step, that's the default. But yeah. Okay. So yeah, that's kind of the point that I've been trying to get across though here. You can subtract or at least get multiple pieces of information out from an object. Let's try with a list. Let's try list equals uh, this is a bad word. <laughs> I'm so original. So now we've got list. List is, this is a bad word. And we can get things out of that. Let's say uh, 2, 2, 4. So we will get only 2 and 3, though, because we're... Look, remember, we can look over at this in the side notes. Because we're starting at 2, and we want to go until anything that's less than uh, less than 4, we're going to get the indexes. Is This is 0, is is 1, a is 2, for, I'm sorry, bad is 3, and word is 4. So now we've got... If we're getting 2 and 3 out of this, out of this list, we're going to have a and then bad. A bad, exactly what we returned. We can do this again with negative things negative 4 to negative 1 is a bad because we're getting here, here. So this makes sense, right? I know it's complex when you try and think of it with negative numbers and that sort of thing, but you can do this with lists, you can do this with tuples, you can do this with strings, and it might help you when you're trying to get pieces out. Get pieces of the information out, but not retrieving all of it, but not retrieving just one bit. So hey, that's all I've got for you guys today. Thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. Thank you for sticking by me. <laughs> but uh, thanks again, guys. I'll see you in the next tutorial.